One of the main mysteries that surround the Iron Lung is the blurred ocean, and not only because of its blur-like appearance, but also because of what kind of creatures that dwell within it. Hi, my name's Rex, and today I'm going to be explaining the monster of Iron Lung. But before we begin, I would ask you guys to please like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification icons to help support the channel. The monster is the main entity that establishes the horror elements in the game. If you want to know the story behind Iron Lung, then go check out my Iron Lung Story Explained video. The monster is a giant fish-like creature that attacks the player by the end of the game. However, it can be seen that the monster actually stalks the player throughout their journey, appearing in different pictures, possibly hinting that it was preying on us from afar, taking its time tormenting us before going in for the kill. It is based on a real-life fish called the anglerfish. The anglerfish is a bony fish named after their mode of predation in which a modified luminescent fin ray acts as a lure for other fish. The males are smaller than the females in size and they dwell in the deep sea thousands of meters below. Some are pelagic while others are benthic. Pelagic forms are most often laterally compressed whereas the benthic forms are often extremely dorsoventrally compressed, often with large upward pointing mouths. All anglerfish are carnivorous and are thus adapted for the capture of prey. Ranging in color from dark gray to dark brown, deep sea species have large heads that bear enormous crescent-shaped mouths full of long fang-like teeth angled inward for efficient prey grabbing. Their length can vary from 2 to 18 centimeters with a few types getting as large as 100 centimeter. But this variation is largely due to sexual dimorphism with females being much larger than males. Rockfish and other shallow water anglerfish species are ambush predators and are often appear camouflaged as rocks, sponges, or seaweed. Only female anglerfish are bioluminescent and rely on bacterial symbiotes to produce their light. The jaw and stomach of the anglerfish can extend to extreme lengths to allow it to consume prey up to twice its size. Because of the limited amount of food available in the anglerfish's environment, this adaptation allows the anglerfish to store food when there is and abundance. Since they live in a poor energy environment, the anglerfish exhibits an energy conservation method of swimming where they move lethargically first with burst movements when they know for a fact that their prey is in close enough proximity. Now with this findings, we can conclude that the monster from Iron Lung is an alien species of male anglerfish that are benthic as we can clearly see from its out of bound render that they do not possess the usual light bulb that the female species have and that they have a large upward pointing mouth and this makes it all the more terrifying knowing that there must be a female version of this monster that is swimming around the blurred ocean that is several times larger in size than the monster that we encounter in Iron Lung. These findings also explain why the monster took its time getting to us as it lives in an energy poor environment and was just trying to conserve its energy. As we can see that prey is limited in the blurred ocean, hence why it was just following us and when it got close enough it exhibited burst swimming, literally bursting into the iron lung.